When the going gets tough, the tough get nostalgic. That's the take-home lesson from a recent spate of research telling us that looking at our old photos and videos might be the perfect elixir to reduce stress and anxiety and improve quality of life. This short video explains how revisiting happy memories through video, photo album or even the gallery on our phones can boost brain health. Firstly, we'll look at the two chemicals our body produces when we do things that are fun and how these work together with memory to keep us safe, improve self-esteem and reduce stress. Secondly, you'll see why it's important to record our life moments with photos and videos and then make the time to re-watch them, especially at times when life is throwing us a few curveballs. I hope this short video encourages you to get your camera out and start capturing those special moments. Your brain health will thank you for it. We all know that positive experiences like walking on the beach can improve our physical health. However, Positive experiences play an important role in good brain health as well. When we do the things that we enjoy, our bodies release two chemicals to help us maintain good brain health. The first of these is serotonin, which has been shown to reduce anxiety, promote happiness, enable calmness, and regulate our mood. The second chemical our body releases when we engage in pleasurable experiences is dopamine. Dopamine impacts our muscle movement, sleep patterns, concentration and appetite as well as our ability to store and recall memories, particularly our autobiographical memories. The autobiographical memory is where we store all our personal events, whether it be a special birthday celebration, our first home renovation or the first time we sit up front in one of these. Our ability to store and recall these past experiences supports our brain health in three important ways. Firstly, recalling memories from the past can help us to stay safe, such as remembering to swim between the flags or which side of the road to ride our bike on. Secondly, because the autobiographical memory contains knowledge about self and personal identity, it can also help us improve our sense of self-worth and self-esteem. It's estimated that roughly 85% of people worldwide have low self-esteem. During a 2018 study, it was found that those who regularly recall pleasant events, especially ones that involve social interaction, tended to have lower cortisol levels and fewer negative self-appraisals, both of which are considered important barriers to healthy levels of self-esteem. This is an important finding given that self-esteem affects virtually every part of our life. Maintaining a healthy, realistic view of yourself isn't about blowing your own horn. It's about learning to like and respect yourself, faults and all. The third way that our ability to recall memories can support good brain health is by reducing the negative impact of stress. Regardless of whether your stress is triggered from your own internal thoughts or simply the business of life, recalling happy memories and creating new ones can fuel feelings of gratitude and turn off the cycle of negativity. The autobiographical memory is remarkable not only for its ability to let us re-experience the past, and here's the amazing part, it also allows us to rekindle the same emotions. Yep, that's right, the simple act of re-watching a video of yourself swimming in the crystal clear waters of the Great Barrier Reef will trigger the serotonin and dopamine response, enabling you to re-experience those same emotions years later. All this research suggests that a happy and healthy brain is one that regularly recalls moments from the past that inspired us to feel positive and grateful. It's for this reason that four years ago I embarked on a passion project 
capture as many special life moments as I could. In doing so, during times of stress or sadness, I simply dig out one of those special moments from the digital archive and allow myself to redirect troubles and thoughts to better times or memories of gratifying experiences and wait for the serotonin and dopamine to kick in. The beauty of this approach to improving brain health is that anyone can do it. All you need to do is keep your camera handy and don't be afraid to use it. Once you've got those special memories, just make some regular time to simply sit back and enjoy them. Your mental health will thank you for it.